Hello everyone, um, so this is probably going to be my first video that I really really want to do and um, here you're looking at a jar full of black widows. Now you're probably asking why the hell do I have black widows? Well, long story short, um, I am I am a college student and I want to I want to do research with uh, entomology. That's going to be my major. I'm currently a freshman and I was offered to do independent research and my independent research topic is virology. If if you don't know what that is, it's the study of viruses. Um my professor, biology professor suggests that there may be um, some unknown virus inside of them and so we've collected plenty of black widows uh, he has a jar in um, in lab that's probably with I want to say 30 maybe black widows plus these four that I just caught today so yeah a lot of black widows out here. Um, these are the only four. No, I take that back. I caught another one before, and that was like last week. But these are four black widows that I have, and I caught today. And um, I just want to make a video of it. Just give you an insight of what's going on, and it's pretty cool. And uh, I do have some videos that I did. Oh, my friend took of me capturing one of them um i will probably edit the video onto um onto this one uh it's just it's so cool okay so this one i believe may be pregnant and the reason is because um, where I found her, there was a lot of uh, a lot of web, and it seemed like she was making an egg sac. Now, to grab the black widows, I use uh, these, I call them salad tweezers. But uh, I uh, I didn't I didn't grab them like that. So it was it was uh, along this this rail that they put whenever there's um water a water source nearby you've probably seen them along the highway or along roads it was just these spiders were just there and I would just poke to see if there was any black widows there just jam this in there and uh, it just turned out that this one might be pregnant because she is huge And it is just so awesome. But I am living in the dorms. And <laughs> funny thing is, I was just told I cannot have black widows in here. So, you're going to witness death. I'm going to pour some rubbing alcohol. And this jar, but I'm going to transfer this lone one in here. Might as well, since I don't want to struggle with three. Might as well just struggle with one. Um, let's see how that goes. Go down. Make sure there's no web. Yeah, there's no web. Okay. I can leave that open. Now this one, I am going to struggle. She built a web pretty big already. From top to bottom. So when I open this, when I open this, I am pretty sure that it will be attached to the lid. So I have to be pretty careful with this one. Let's see what happens. 
I'm getting my salad tweezers ready. Oh, my fingers are sweaty. Okay. It's not attached to the lid. That's a good thing. Shoot. I should do this outside, but I'm not. Get down there, get down there. Oh shoot, get down there. Okay, there it is. <gasps> shoot. All four of them. Nothing to be afraid of. Just black windows. Shoot. You're crazy. Yeah, I'll show you. Four black widows. Now I forgot to mention this, but a way to to see if they're black widows, um, right underneath, you can see it in this one, it has an hourglass, and that's how you identify a black widow. Now, do keep in mind that these are very venomous. They have what's called neurotoxin, and um, it's basically venom that targets your um, neurons. So this is, yeah, they're pretty dangerous. Now there's the hourglass I was talking about. You can barely see it, but it, look up a picture on Google and you'll, you'll see. It's just an hourglass. And uh, there is another picture that I took, I believe, of this one, the, the one that's pregnant. Um, she's upside down. That's how they like to hang out. So now it's just time to kill them. See, I don't want to kill them because I love entomology, but I just have to because I can't keep them in the room alive. Although I did two times. <laughs> I won't lie. My professor gave me two black widows. Uh, he gave me one towards the beginning of the semester. And I had that one in uh in a jar and it was it was a fairly big jar. It was about this big and I would just leave the lid open just so I can, you know, have some air circulation in and out and I'll just do my homework right here, just watching it, make sure it doesn't get out. And basically that was it and I kept it for a good two weeks and it was pretty fun. Uh, she ended up dying from crickets. Uh, I put a big cricket. It was a pretty small black widow. It was about that size. So it was pr pretty little. I put a cricket in there. One of those big crickets that you buy at PetSmart. And, well, the cricket bit the Black Widow, and it just it died. And I was just like, wow, I didn't know I could do that. It's so cool. And, well, the Black Widow died, and I gave that to my professor. Um, my professor then put her in, in um, the ethanol solution, where he has all the other ones. Now they're calm. <laughs> and, um... Later on, he gave me another Black Widow, which was pretty decent size. I want to say about this size. It's a little bit bigger than that one. And I took that one home, and I gave it little crickets. Like, the smallest crickets you could get at, at PetSmart. And it ate those like a beast. Like, I mean, I would see it munch it. And it was just so cool. It would literally tear it in half. Oh no. 
well, here's a black, here's a, oh shoot, I wish you could see it, yeah, the hourglass, it's so cool, I'm gonna have to knock it back down before I put alcohol, I gave it the little crickets and it was so cool, but I have to wrap this up, there it goes, and just in case I build another web, Nothing. Uh, so now, death. I don't want to waste too much, but there they are. They're still moving. Look at this. They are still moving. That is so cool. Wow. It's alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. I think they're dying. What the heck? That is so cool. I should pour more, but... I don't know. I kind of want to preserve some rubbing alcohol. I use it for my, my killing jar. Now, these will die, I'm pretty sure. And I will put them in my, um, in my refrigerator. Little mini refrigerator. Right over here. Put them in there, and... I'll freeze it for um for Monday so I can give it to my professor. They're they're dying, I know that. I hope so. Maybe they're dead. Still alive. Poor little things. But I have to. For research purposes, which is pretty cool. I love it. Actually started today and oh my god, look. There's that red spot right on its belly. And that is what I'm talking about. A black widow. Four of them. Four of these little beasts. Just so cool. If you have arachnophobia, I'm sorry, you you had to look at these. <laughs> They're probably dead. I would hope so. I'm just gonna pour a little bit more. This should be fine. Well, that was cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of these black widows. They're savage little spiders, but shouldn't be scared of them. They, they really don't do anything. If you see other videos out there, there's some videos where um, there's people uh, holding them, and trust me, they, they don't do anything. They really don't. If, if you provoke it. I mean, I did, obviously. These salad tweezers. I literally just kept poking them and yeah they were aggressive but hey I need them so I hope you enjoy